I like to tell you that the consensus media isn't really from around here. They're from another planet, quite frankly. Yesterday, Justice Minister Rob Nicholson had a, a media announcement. He wanted to announce that changes had been made to the criminal code or were coming. It had to do with violent youth criminal offenders, and he was flanked by families who were victims themselves. Here's what he had to say. I'm proud to announce today that the Protecting Canadians from Repeat and Violent Young Offenders segment of the Safe Streets and Communities Act has come into a force. All right, so that's what he's talking about. What did the media want to know about? They wanted to know how on earth two women who are anti-abortion activists, Linda Gibbons, she's been on this program, she marches up and down in front of uh, peacefully in front of abortion clinics in Toronto and gets arrested for it for just simply being there. And Mary Wagner, who goes inside and, and uh, consults women who are having abortions, they have gone to jail, but they were given a Queen's Diamond Jubilee medal and that sent the consensus media off. Check this out. You're here with the uh, family of victims. Yes. How can you explain them and Canadians that uh, someone sitting in jail, a criminal, received or was awarded a Queen Elizabeth Jubilee Medal. I beg your pardon? You know, we're here to talk about changes to the Youth Criminal Justice Act. Do you think it's okay for someone who's a criminal, who's in prison, or someone who has served prison jail to get a, 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 this medal? But again, I appreciate the other things. But Anybody but else? Yeah? What about the victims of those two ladies? I mean, that those again, ladies I'm not created familiar. victims you, and you, they received medals again, from your colleagues, Mr. I, I'm Bellacott. here uh, again uh, today. It's about changes to the Youth Criminal Justice <laughs> Act. You know what I mean? Bellacott you know. can do whatever he wants. Is that what you're saying? Comparing Linda Gibbons, the granny that walks up and down on a public sidewalk outside an abortion clinic, to violent criminals. That is the mindset of our consensus media. Are they off base? Well, I think so. Andrew Morozik, who is with ProWomenProLife.org, joins me now. And Andrea, I mean, you just must have been gobsmacked when you found out that this was a story that was going to consume a news day for a good chunk of the reporters on Parliament Hill. Yeah, that it would consume a news day and the angle that they took as well, just this idea they were hammering home on Linda Gibbons and Mary Wagner being criminals and how can criminals be awarded any kind so of applause. They, they, they have been uh, convicted of things like mischief, uh, uh, breach of the peace and breach of probation. I think that's all, right? Linda Gibbons walks up and down a public sidewalk and we don't have anybody in this country who is incensed over the fact that our state tells us that we can be put in jail for walking up and down a public sidewalk. That is an infringement of our freedom of speech. It's an infringement of our freedom of assembly. And we don't see this kind of treatment for anybody else. I wrote a column in the Ottawa, Citizens to, in the Ottawa Citizen today, and I highlighted how the occupiers happily trespassed parks across the country for months and months on end. Animal rights activists can do all kinds of nasty things, including throwing pies at the Minister of Fisheries yeah. and Oceans. And never for one second do we see anything permanent that is, is, is uh, latched onto their movement. Greenpeace uh, climbed up onto the roof of Parliament and rappelled down and, and put up a huge sign. This is on West Block in a secure area. Yes. They still get all kinds of me positive media attention, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Linda Gibbons is a great grandmother at this point. Um, she is post-abortive herself. She has a strong, strong conviction that women are not done well by abortion. And she goes and she sidewalk counsels, generally with a poster. I, I wrote as well, you can find it ineffective. You can think it's stupid. You can make fun of her. Is it criminal? Absolutely not. It shouldn't not. be. Uh, Henry Morgenthaler, though, do, you were um, one of the people that was outraged when he was given the Order of Canada. The Order of Canada is not supposed to be controversial. there has been lots of controversial people have received the, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee medals on both sides of the pol political aisle because all MPs can hand them out, and Maurice Vellicott chose these two women. But uh, Henry Morgenthaler was given the Order of Canada. He served time in jail for breaking Canada's abortion laws. Oh, no. But, I, I mean... To these people, he is a hero. A criminal getting an honor in Canada, and indeed the country's highest honor. I, I, it's, it's just so rich to hear the hypocrisy. Um, I grant you that we do have an environment in Canada today where pro-lifers are persecuted, and now what's interesting about this circumstance is that we're seeing two pro-lifers be applauded at the same time as the yeah, state is persecuting but them. But You fight against this in the media. I mean, not here on, on Byline, but you fight against this perception out there that Canadians are wholeheartedly 
pro-choice. They, they don't want any restrictions on abortion. This is a settled issue they don't want to talk about. That's not the reality, is it? it it's the reality for the media mm -hmm. who want to say that this is, you know, everything is as it should be. But there you have it. 59%, this is an abacus data poll from 2011, want some form of protection before birth. 22% say only after birth and 19% aren't sure. And then you know, let, let's show the tweets as Andrea and I talk. These are, are tweets from uh, some of the mean girls in the press gallery, people like Glenn, Glenn McGregor, who says the governor general's office needs to explain how a jailed anti-abortion activist got a medal. Dan Gardner complaining that there's mandatory minimums for sharing a joint, which is a lie, Dan, and you know that. But, you know, a convict gets a Queen's Diamond Jubilee medal. And Katie O'Malley, the taxpayer-funded blogger in residence at CBC, says all of them should just be revoked after these two women get them. There is, um, they are completely detached from the mindset of average Canadians, as far as I can tell. Yeah, absolutely. Two things I'd like to touch on there. This issue, this idea of it being settled is constantly put forward, both by pro-choicers and the media as well. It's a settled issue. We don't talk about it. And then again and again and again, my life's getting busier and busier and busier with regards to this issue at, for a settled issue that nobody debates. I'm certainly out and about and called to comment on it frequently enough here, but elsewhere as well. And um, I, I just, this idea that... Um, it's not about, the, the criminality of it really bugs me. It is about the abortion issue and the fact that it's not settled. So we need to get to the heart of that issue and, uh, and respectfully debate it and talk about what it is these women are doing. But just compare and contrast, um, a certain hypocrisy comes forward when you're, you're perfectly happy to see Henry Morgenthaler, who absolutely broke laws in this country, was put in jail for them. Love him or hate him, and, and you can guess where I stand. Yeah. You have to respect his conviction and his passion, but then when this sort of thing happens, then suddenly, um, you know, Canada is giving. We're a backwater that should give back all the medals. Honors, yeah. yeah. Horrible, Andrea. Good talk. Good talking to you again. Thank you. All right. Email me your thoughts byline at sunmedia.ca. More to come. <laughs>